Sometimes it is the really simple things that are the most useful in Minecraft. You can have amazing elevators, you can have awesome farms, but actually sometimes you just want to move some stuff around. And this item elevator is about as simple as it gets. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, we've got a fairly quick video. I've used this thing a few times in a few builds before now, and I've not actually showed you a tutorial on how to do it properly, and there's plenty out there, I know, so thank you very much for watching my version of the tutorial. I'm not going to gibber on, we're just going to get on and show you how to make a block elevator. Let's get on with it. What is great about this is you hardly need anything to make it. You need one dropper one redstone comparator, two redstone repeaters, four bits of redstone, four hoppers, one bit of stone, two chests, and some blocks to make the tower. That could be all glass, it could be all stone, it could be whatever you wanted it to be, and it can be as high as you want it to go. Absolutely brilliant. And then whatever it is you're going to use for your delivery system, which is on top of that, simple. Let's get on with it. Now I'm going to show you some different ways that you can feed this system towards the end of the video. So don't go away, do watch till the end. But what I'm going to start with is how we physically make the system itself. So get yourself one dropper, just one dropper. That's all you're going to need for the whole of this build. One comparator, put it into subtract mode. Now comparators, depending on what's going into the dropper, have varying strengths of signals coming out of it. So you've got to assume the worst and it's only got one redstone um, block worth of signal. So shove it into a block. And if you then shove that into a block, that means this repeater here can suck that signal out. That's not a repeater. That's a repeater. It can suck that signal out, and then it will have a full strength, which is what you're pretty much after. Get yourself some redstone and loop it back into that uh, comparator. That is going to create a redstone clock. And because it is in subtract mode, it will effectively create a one tick pulse that goes around and around and around. You dizzy yet? You dizzy yet? I'm a little bit dizzy looking at that. And then we get another bit of redstone there. And then you've got to redirect the signal back into the dropper. It's all very well, the dropper telling the comparator that there's something in it, but the comparator then has to tell the dropper, will you spit it out then? And that is what that does. So now you've got a really simple, look. it couldn't be more simple, that circuit. Dropper, comparator, block, repeater, redstone, redstone, another repeater, back to the block. What a doddle. That is the entire system. So we've got to get something into the dropper and obviously the, the best way of doing that is putting a hopper in. Go into shift click and stick one in there. We're not going to worry about any other hoppers at the moment, but that is what's going to physically put stuff in. And if you, I'm just going to lob some in it and you'll see. Oh, I missed! Look, I can't even hit that. This this is shows that I'm rubbish at PvP. I couldn't even hit a dropper from one block away. So let's get rid of that. You'll see, and it spits it back out again. Let's get rid of it again. Goes in, and it spits it back out again. So that's a really nice system. Then all we need to do is build up a tower. However, it's really, really important that the tower completely goes around this dropper, completely around it, all sides in a... Um, Kind of a three by three square. Now that occupies that block entirely, so you can just put a block on top of it. That occupies that block entirely, so you can put a block on top of that. Block on top of that. Oop, don't forget shift click. Block on top of that, all the way around, like that, and one in the middle. Right. So get get a block in there. There we go. So we've got a complete three by three square all the way around that. Now you can have this as any block you want. It doesn't have to be glass. I like to use glass because then you can see the stuff going up. But if you wanted it to be, um, I don't know, it could be any opaque block basically, any opaque block you like, and it could even be transparent blocks as well. So we get a little bit of glass like that and bring it up a little bit another, another layer. Let's get it up another layer, there we go. And then if we then change that to, let's say, smooth stone. So you can imagine you're down in your, um, in your mine and you want to get stuff up but you don't want to dig all the way to the surface that's crazy so you can push this all the way through the rock that's already there the naturally um, occurring naturally spawning rock and uh, it will go through that every bit as safely as it will go through glass and then let's just stick another bit of glass on top of that just to show that it's coming out the other side and one more like that. So then at the top, you need to collect the system up. So we're going to create a horseshoe all the way around like this. We're going to get ourselves a 
chest. I've not even pulled the chest out. Look at that. That's not professional. Where's my chest? There's my chest. So we get a chest. I'm going to put a chest there and there because I didn't press shift click again. Anybody else have a problem forgetting to do shift click? Because I do it all the blooming time. And we're going to get a hopper running into that chest there and into that chest there. So that then gives us a collection system at the top. You can see it's currently empty and we're going to fill it. So if we get ourselves a full stack of, let's say, stone blocks, that'll do, won't it? So to get a full stack of stone blocks, um, we're going to put, just to be able to feed it in, a hopper on there. We're going to take that off again in a minute, maybe, maybe not. And then we put the full stack of stone blocks in like that. So that goes in. You can see it's ticking up. You can see the blocks are going up. And they're going up through that. And they're coming up the other side. And they're coming up. You can see it poking up out the top of that. And those hoppers are collecting them and putting them into that chest. Now, if you wanted to, you could top that off a little bit, make it look a little bit more pretty um, using some slabs, perhaps. That'll work. And you can put slabs on top of this just so you've not got open hoppers. Um, I'm just a little bit... OCD when it comes to open hoppers on the surface. I don't like the look of it. I like to cap it off, but that makes no difference. What will happen sometimes is the blocks will come through, although they're not doing it at the moment, will come through that half block. But because it's a half slab, the hoppers will suck it straight back down again and it will go into the chest. And bang, we've got 64 stone transported up. That could have been diamonds, it could have been emeralds, it could have been iron, it could have been whatever you wanted from your mine, or you could have used this to get stuff up to a sky base. Tim, completely, completely up to you. But that is how the mechanism works. But how do you feed it in, in a way that's a lot of fun? And maybe or maybe not, doesn't use a lot of hoppers. I'm going to show you now. One way you can feed this is by having a minecart with hopper going down your branch mines backwards and forwards into the hopper and as it goes over it drops the stuff in and it shoots it up that's a really simple way of doing it doesn't take an awful lot of effort and you can have this in a network a bit like the video that i did in branch mining a few weeks ago that's one option but you can do it in a different way as well you could just have a water stream running right down over the hopper and that is a really, really good way of getting stuff in. If you want to, you could even have packed ice on the bottom of that water stream, which makes the items run super, super fast, especially if it's from a long way away. Or you could also try this next thing, which is a combination of both of them. We have got water streams running over a hopper that goes into the hopper minecart, which runs across the track, which feeds the item elevator. This is a lot cheaper than doing loads and loads of hoppers. Definitely, definitely. So let's just demonstrate this. If we get those in there, oh, all of them would be nice. There we go. Let's get them all in, lob them all in. And then on this side, we're going to do the orange ones. We're going to lob them all in. In they go. Oh, set those ones haven't gone. There we go. They're going in now. You can hear the ticking in the background where they're starting to go up. And you can see the blue ones are going up. And when the blue ones are finished going up, because obviously it will take the first thing that's in the first slot of that hopper minecart. When the blue ones are finished, the orange ones will start going up. And that is how... You can make a, a pretty effective item elevator collection system either underground or overground or in the sky or wherever you wanted. It's a great method of getting things up in the air. I hope that makes sense and you can find use of this in your survival world. It's a really easy build. Good luck with it. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. Look, the orange ones are starting to go up in the background now. I can see them. Do slap that like button. It'll be great to see a good number of likes on this so as I know that this is the kind of video that you would like me to do more of. And also, if you haven't done it already, you're very naughty, but make sure you hit that sub button. It would be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.